The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing through the ministry of VPA. They gave these voluntarily without any directives from VPA. We advise you to always seek your medical practitioner's advice before you make any decisions based on this program. Get ready for incredible testimonies in VPA. Started on him. That thing disappeared and everything was now all right. Shut Jesus! They suddenly! They suddenly! They fire! I saw skin, like snake skin, fall in the bathroom. Shut Jesus! No more insane, no more medical, no more nothing. Go! Shut Jesus! Your story has changed. Wait, God, God, the name of Jesus, your God, story has changed. This man came here last year, did this, did this round for 13 weeks. You announced that three people have a directional problem, they should come out. Come here! You blessed him. That he was not working. Yes. His wife is now here now. The wife is now pregnant. And he's finding a God of the Jesus! Years. One, two, three, fire! Stay tuned for more incredible testimonies in VPA. Victorious Pen. She's thanking God, the God of VPA, for granting her her visa. Five years visa. Jesus! Jesus! She applied and it was getting difficult. But a friend of hers invited her here in November. And in December, she got it. Jesus! Jesus! Do you know her? Come! You see, this God, uh, this God, he does not disappoint us here. Um. Shh! Recommend more. My God, take the, in that place. So, who are you? Who are you? I was also invited to this church by a friend and uh, what I received in this church was amazing. I, in Victoria's Pentecostal Assembly, you emerge victorious. Whoa. You can never live here not victorious. Church Jesus! Whoa. Where are you from? I'm from Uganda. Uganda? Yes. The God of EPA, your God has ears on this ground. There are ears Shh. on this ground. So the God of the people has ears on this ground. Yes. I told her, please come. God of VPA has ears. Before you knew it, she had it. I fear your God. <laughs> For you. You are the lamp of God that knows and all to you we lift our voice of the lamp of God that knows Sit down. Wow, I love what you said. Yesterday. You said your God yeah. has ears on yeah. this ground. You can never come here and tell the God of Pastor Alex, I need this and he will never give it to you. How old are you? I am 30 years. Three zero? Yes. You don't look 30 years. I am 30, Daddy. Wow. I made 30 last month. Father, I declare heaven. Be open up for your daughter. That word you spoke is bigger than you. Receive more. Thank you, Lord. Daddy, mm. the God you are serving is alive. I know. He's a living God. Mm. And the God of VPA is a powerful God. A wonderful and marvelous God. I put in my application to the home office in January 21st, 2014. And within two months, they refused it. In March, I received a refusal letter. And then I made an appeal 
And when I was going for the appeal, I called Hope Line. And I said, I have an appeal in court. I was then in Croydon Court. Inside the Croydon Court, the pastor, one of the pastors prayed with me. And he said, shout Jesus, Jesus five times. And I did. And I said, over to you, God. And I used my mantle when the case started. And I covered my face. I wiped my face with it. So the judge said that I'm going to ask you questions. And then the home office secretary or lawyer also wanted to ask me questions. And my lawyer also wanted to ask me questions. Could you just imagine that they only asked me one, one questions. So I was able to answer all by God's grace. And then finally, the judge said that I have won the case. So they should give me my five-year residency or my five-year stay. Then the home office made an appeal against the judge's decision. And then once again, my family member, I come from Coventry. So I booked the train, Coventry, London, uh, West, London Midlands train. I was coming with my family members, two of them. We couldn't have anywhere to park their car. You know, they, they drive, but they couldn't have anywhere to park their car. So this delayed us for one hour. And I booked the train in such a way that we will have one hour, one and a half hours to spend, even when we get to London. By the time we got here, the case has already started. The court has already started. I'm telling you. I was late for 45 minutes. And also I forgot, when I was in the train, I called Hope Line. And I said, I have a final appeal. Please help me in prayer. And one of the pastors prayed with me and he said, over to you, God. It is done. So could you imagine that because of this, we were late for 45 minutes in court. When I went there, miraculously, the God of VPA, the God of Pastor Les, the judges were waiting for me. They were waiting Church for me. Jesus. In this UK court, can you mess with time? 45 minutes late, the judge was waiting for me. Oh God. God is great. God is great. Church Jesus. Jesus. Father, over to you. Goodbye. Your time has come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't cry and give me the spirit. <laughs> oh God is great. Pastor, I've been coming for quite a while, not understanding what was happening, but the Lord has greatly blessed me since I've been coming here. Pastor, I was so overwhelmed as I was watching Believe TV. I saw you was going to Bradford. I managed to get a car to see car, drove all the way to Bradford, arrived there to meet you and testify about this, but I didn't get a chance to testify. So we drove back to Hull and arrived at 3 a.m. And I was thinking, when will I get a chance to testify? Then I came again this week for my deliverance. So you don't live in London, you live in Holland. I live in Hull. We uh, drove in to Hull? Bed. Yeah. I don't even know where Hull is. <laughs> I don't know any place. <laughs> Pastor, but the God is really great. So I had put in my papers thinking they would, the lawyers said, oh, you will receive a reply as soon as possible. Give it about a month or two. It's a simple case. And I thought, all right. And then I waited and waited. Six months passed by, nothing came by. And then a year has passed, nothing came by. And I thought, God, where are you? What's happening? I need something to come out. Then I remember that when I came over the new year, you say that everything that has been put, the files that have been put away, let them be brought out. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to hear your case right now. Yeah. Now, when I came in this week, we was praying. And then on Tuesday, during my deliverance, this Tuesday, after enough is enough, I get a phone call right from the home office. And they say, oh, Mrs. Habsha, is it? Yeah. I said, yeah, but I'm 
I'm a chief of interest. And they say, right, we've given you your indefinite leave to stay. Would you like... Shut Jesus! I started crying and I was so overwhelmed and I, was, I just started jumping up and then the lady says, oh, would you like it to be posted to you? Are you at home? I'm like, no, I'm a VPA in London. I, I'm not at home, but I don't know what you can do. And then they said, right, we will wait till you get back home and then we'll be able to see you. Come to our office and we'll sort it out as soon as you... Shut Jesus! If your God is dead, try my own. Jesus, Jesus, sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Sit down. The God I serve is alive. The God that has set up a fire is alive. What a mighty God we serve. How can you explain it? Yem doing deliverance and a focal king. Your own is coming. Your focal is coming. Receive a focal. Shout Jesus! Ah, it's God. Your time has come. Your time has God do a lot with it. She's thanking the God of Pastor Alex for a church like this. She says she's never been to a church like this. But she came here and contacted the anointing. And that anointing worked for her. That anointing gave her indefinite leave to remain. Wow. Shout Jesus! Jesus! You, you want to talk? You want, you want to talk? Let her talk. Hallelujah, church. Amen. God is in this place. And we must embrace his presence. We have been to churches. I've been to churches. I've never seen this anointing. You know, when you come here, just embrace his presence because he's here all the time. He will never leave. Shout Jesus! I give God the praise. I give God the praise. I give God the praise. In your presence, Lord, I'm standing on. In your step presence, Lord, I'm standing on. In your presence, Lord, I'm holding on. In your presence, oh Lord, I'm standing on. Hey. Yes, in Lord. In your presence, I'm standing on. Lord, I'm standing on. I will remember you in his presence. Wow. You took me from the mighty clay hey. and planted my feet on the solid on rock. Hallelujah. In your presence, Lord, I'm, I'm standing, standing on. Yeah. In your presence, Lord, I'm standing on. Shout Jesus! I love that song. This is the ministry of turn around. Turn around. She said she has made up her mind. When they said no to her from home office that she's going home. But somebody said to her, come to VBA. <laughs> and she did two weeks of deliverance. What looks impossible to her when she came to VPA, God turned it around. She has now been giving five years. She's thanking the God of VPA. Shout Jesus! Woo! Jesus, my only friend. You have delivered.
consider what a package God is packaging in VPA. What a package that God is packaging in VPA. Hi! People come and say, God said VPA is the entire church. And truly it is real. It is real. They say go away two weeks. And now they give you five years to remain. Father, thank you. you call me Jesus. Tell the boy, don't give up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoa. There is God in this place. There is God in VPA. Yes. That is why what? That is what? Church is God. God bless you, lovely people of God. I was, this is my first time of coming to this country. I flew in from Spain last night and I made a vow to God because daddy came to Spain 2012 and in 2012 I was afflicted so later on he said those that are in need of documents they should come out you have submitted your application, but not approved. Myself, I've already applied for Spanish passport. Nothing was working. I knew the papers I submitted were not the correct ones. Oh, I, like I knew deep down that these things I submitted, I had doubt. Oh. I said, "Where well, God?" Over. Since he has already said it, I'm going to come out. God so, to Ahmed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am so excited. He, he laid his hand on me. And that very day, I knew it was over. A lot of people said many things. Hey. They, they said, my Spanish is not very good. They are going to deny me the passport. They also said again that they don't even think I can even go through the interview. But today, 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 Church Jesus! Father, I declare upon this your son. Not only what you have received, let God make you a minister. Of the gospel expressly in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It might not be what you desire, but you've got no choice. Go out, print in it. Grace, 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 grace. Take it. Church Jesus! Jesus! Sit down. That is the report of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the year 2012, pastor was in Germany. And actually, uh, there was somebody I wanted to bring to Germany that period. So, they couldn't get that person visa in Nigeria. So the documents which I sent to the person, to the, to the person, that person couldn't, did, he could not even want to give me that, those documents again. And I needed those documents for my passport. So when I applied, they told me that they need those documents for me to get my passport. I don't know what to do again. I pleaded with this person till today. I'm standing that those uh, those documents she has not. 
uh, uh, brought to, to me. Then I don't know what to do. So within the period, I was just asking God. Then when pastor came, somebody told me that there is one man of God from England coming to uh, Germany. So the first day I didn't come, the Saturday then I came, I was sitting at the back. After many prayers, then I was looking at this man of God. I looked my look God. I said, I don't know, even the prayers, I don't know what to do. After he preached and he was about going, he thought, even me too, I was about standing up, I was looking at him like this. Immediately she, he, he was about giving, he just said like, he just, he turned back, said, asked God one thing you want God to do for you. Then I just raised hand, two hands. I said, God, I need my passport. After he, he, he left, two weeks, they called me. The man who said that those, those things are not possible, he now asked me, please, these documents, we need these documents. When this person comes to Germany, then I bring this document, then I should go and pay for, those, for the passport. Today, I have my passport. I came with it. Church Jesus! With Jesus, act. with Jesus, anything is possible. So you came from Germany yes, for the program. Yes, Quite experienced a new church. Experienced a touch of God. Ministry. That one of the people you prayed for in Germany, when you went to Germany, is this lady. She's been watching Believe TV. And three months ago, she had a dream. And you presented to her this card and then so she had faith she applied for I'm it. not sure they did them when a man came from the same uh, Germany and said that I pray about paper and it's all has come she came from uh, only went to Germany only once I have been there only once when I was playing back I don't like the way the aeroplane landed does that mean but I will go again I said, are we good again? If the play can land well, the next one will land well again. Shout Jesus! So, you got it? Just like that. Just like that. He said, just like that. Your God is too much. Gemini, God of VPA is too much. Shout Jesus! Jesus! So, oh God, Germany, I am coming again. I am coming again. Let me help her to roll. Go out to explore now with those documents. Come back with more proof evidence. Your time has come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my testimony goes like this. Uh, when I was applying for this uh, Italian citizen, normally according to the law, it's two months, two, two years and two months. After two years, because I have having issue with the uh, with the, with the court, so I was fearing that this thing will stop me to not have the citizenship. I called the prayer line. They pray for me. They say I should not worry. So after that, I don't know about the case if they cancel it or not. I don't know anything about it again. So after that, on the May. I called the prayer line again. I said, my citizenship now, they have, I'm waiting for it. And the, all I see that they are, uh, they are waiting to sign the citizenship. And the man of the pastor prayed for me. He said that from now to one month, I will receive it. With the anointing in this house, I will receive it. Children of God is not more than that. All to, it's, let's call it two weeks and Church Jesus! God do it for me. So that's why once you got it, you rush here. I say, God, if you do it for me, first of all, I will roll from my front of my house 
and to glorify your name and I will come to be here to God for you. Father, thank you, Lord, for what you have done for your son. Go out to exploit in Jesus' name. 